here's a whole bunch of beautiful ideas for your 4th of July party. Everybody wants a little bit of dessert. And if you do it in small portions and stuff, there'll be less waste. And the thing about going to a party is that everyone wants to try a little bit of everything. So keep your portion small and uh, everybody will get to try a little bit of everything. Okay. So you know kids when they're playing and you have a bunch of different activities going on, whether you're at the beach, you know, or you got a pool at home, and you're having a party, the adults are doing their things, the kids are doing theirs. Uh, kids like something quick and easy. So this is in small portions and quick and easy. So you keep their attention span enough for them to get something very nutritious. Okay, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh yeah, that is good. Alright, so first we made some blue and some red jello. Okay, and if you put it in your 8x10 Pyrex uh, uh, containers and everything, then you can just take a knife and slice it up into squares and everything and pour it right in. So what I've done with some of these is I put the red at the bottom and put the blue on top. This one here, I put the blue in the bottom with the red on top. But if you like them just this way because it may look more appetizing, you may do that. And then after that, just add your whipped cream to it. So this is the one with the blue in the bottom with red on top and whipped cream. And this one is red at the bottom with blue on top and whipped cream. Okay, then we took our strawberry shortcakes. Now you know the strawberries are all in season around the 4th of July. So the really super cool thing about this is that you can use your fresh strawberries that you pick, add some blueberries to it, and then after that, add a little bit of whipped cream. That way you have red, white, and blue. Okay, which was the idea of the Jello to stay with the red, white, and blue to be the festive holiday thing. Of course, we made our cupcakes, red, white, and blue, and stuff to stay with the holiday and stuff. And then we have different cupcakes here. Red, white, and blue cupcakes. This one here, I just put a blueberry on it. So, you know, a lot of kids don't like all the other stuff. But maybe try to get one little fruit in them. And some more red, white, and blue. Over here with the strawberries. We did uh, the strawberries and put a blueberry in the middle. Kind of make it look like a um, wagon wheel thing or a flower, whatever people decide it looks like. Okay, and then just a strawberry on top. This one here is just food coloring uh, in some sugar. So I kind of made like a bullseye type thing. And you can just sprinkle the red sugar on them or just the blue sugar on them and do a tray of that. You know, if you want to be easy about what you're doing for desserts and everything, because you don't have a lot of time with everything else, you have to prepare for your party. So it's really all up to you, but this is a 4th of July dessert ideas. So happy 4th of July, everybody. Bye-bye now. And remember that when you do your strawberries, and you know, when you pick them fresh, you are going to want to uh, cut them up the night before so it can make a little bit of juice, you know, for your shortcake. Okay, add a little bit of sugar to it, it'll make its own juice, and then you're all set. All right, and there you go now. Bye-bye.